brand new AP in HD. These diamonds be talking in they sleep. You know not to test me. Now there are a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about filmmaking gear for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Matter of fact, they're from some of my favorite creators. However, I feel like there's no one on YouTube yet who has a setup as good and as functional as the one I have today. Boom, knew it. Tell us about it, please. So I don't wanna waste any of you guys' time today. Let's jump right in talking about this rig, why it's cool, what different gear comes with it, and why I chose to build it the way that I did. Okay, so first let's talk about the cage itself. I chose to go with the cage from Small Rig. And if I'm being really honest with you, this definitely wasn't my first choice when thinking about a cage for the iPhone. I actually really wanted the Beast Grip one, but it's not out yet. It's actually on a Kickstarter campaign. So I can't get that yet, but whenever I do, I'm probably gonna replace this one. But for now, this is the best one available in my opinion. Now the reason why I like this cage is because it's built for you to be able to take your phone in and out really easily. A lot of iPhone cages that I've used before, they're not like that. You have to use a screw to get your phone in and out. So annoying. They've actually upgraded this one and made it super easy with just a click of a button to get your phone out of this rig so that you can keep it set up the same way pretty much all the time. Now also they have this new ecosystem going on with this. So if you wanted to add a handle, if you wanted to add different accessories to this cage that you can quick release really easily from, then you do have that functionality as well because you do have mounting holes all around the side of the cage, which brings me to the top of the cage. So on the top of the cage, what I've also bought from Small Rig is a nano rail, and I've mounted it right on top. This makes it so that we can slide a handle on and off. Again, you don't have to use this handle if you don't want to, but you're gonna wanna use this handle. You'll see why here in a second. But mainly I say the reason why you may not wanna use this handle is because it is very expensive, but it is the best thing about this whole cage because we have an SSD, a one terabyte SSD built right into the handle. Because we have the SSD in here, it makes the entire setup so slim, so sleek. All we need to do is plug in one cable to our phone and we're ready to go filming in the Blackmagic camera app. And I absolutely love this. And if you want to use just the iPhone camera app with this setup, you definitely can as well. Now, the other thing that I really love about this handle is that let's say for instance, if you want to use a monitor, again, you have that flexibility because you have those mounting holes on top, as well as you're able to actually adjust the handles position on the cage, which allows you to balance out the entire rig a lot better. This is something that I didn't really see on a lot of other handles, which makes this even more special aside from the SSD being built in. Now this is from Condor Blue. You can find it on Amazon and it'll be linked below in the description. Now the SSDs that actually work in this handle are from SanDisk and they're called the ProBlaze. So these are very, very fast SSDs. And here's the crazy thing. These ProBlaze are so fast that you can literally unplug it from your phone and plug this cable directly into your computer and start editing. If it's really a flawless setup, if you're wanting to go from shooting on your phone to an SSD and then immediately editing, because you can also swap these out and put a new one in, and you can have a person start shooting to that other one while you're editing. Okay, so now you're shooting to your SSD, right? How are you supposed to keep your phone charged? That's where this portable battery comes into place. Fun fact, if you didn't know, the fastest way to kill your iPhone battery is by shooting the highest quality video. So your phone will go dead very quickly, which is why I picked up this battery right here that goes right on the back of the iPhone and attaches and detaches really easily. So on the bottom of this cage, I just have an Arca Swiss mounting plate, which keeps this entire setup stable so that I can set it on a table just like I am right now and not have any issues. Or if I wanna mount this on a gimbal, if I wanna mount it pretty much anywhere, this makes it super easy to do. This is so modular. You can do so much with this. Let's say if you even wanted to mount a light up here, you can actually power it with this battery so that, I don't know, if you're going documentary style, then you have that functionality. The list can go on and on and on, not even to mention like ND filters if you want to do something like that. These have mounting holes for different lenses, like the moment lenses, where you can attach an ND filter or anything like that. And it feels really nice in the hands for filming, especially 
especially if you want to get down low. You can do so much with this rig, which is why I like it. So if you guys are interested in building a rig like this and you have any questions or you have any modifications that you're curious about making to a rig like this, let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, I recommend that you check out this playlist right over here.